David, I think you're going to have to sharpen your pencil here and go back to law school for a moment because this is one from a manufacturing company that's um, dialed in from the Netherlands. And this is about EU privacy law. So does EU privacy law apply if the case or the investigation is based outside the European Union but the data itself is being processed within? All right, so you asked me to do this as a law school exam. So the first qualifier is I don't practice law in the Netherlands, right. um, and I'm lucky enough to have people that I have a resource um, that I can go to to make these, you know, to, to, to do that for me. That being said, I've done this innumerable times in the EU, and the short, short answer is yes, it does apply, because if the data is in the, in the EU and the data is in the EU, they're going to have a specific set of, of requirements about how that data is going to be uh, processed and how it can be transferred. Um, even if the investigation's U.S. centric, um, the, you know, the reality is investigations don't have geographic boundaries. If it's relevant to what happened, the U.S., either the government or the civil plan is going to ask for that data, but you have to do that in compliance with um, the various member state specific regulations that apply. Um, I'm lucky enough to work um, and be a member of the uh, Sedona Conference. They've done a lot of work in this area, WG6. They have international discovery principles. I think they're extremely helpful in this regard to really work through those issues. I don't have time to go through all of it. But yes, I, I would assume they apply. Um, the one thing I would say is if you don't secure the data and preserve it, you have to do that first and then work forward as your plan about how you're going to process and transfer. Okay, so we've got another European Union question here, I'm afraid. Um, actually, it's from a telecoms company here in the United States, obviously a lot happening in Europe at the moment. This is about ordinary course business records that may be considered personal data in Germany, but they're wanting to export it back to the United States for the purpose of the investigation. So, uh, okay, so this is a classic problem we see all the time in investigations. The, the, first of all, there isn't Germany in this respect. It's a federated state. There are different laws right. applied depending on where you are in Germany. So um, with that caveat, and I don't practice German law, the reality is in the U.S. we're so used to culturally that if the data exists within the company, the company can monitor, look at it, review it, and disclose it, assuming it has the right policies in place. That's not necessarily true in Germany or elsewhere in the EU. Absolutely solid, um, corporate records that are crucial to the memorialization of transactions absolutely can contain personally identifiable information that is protected in Germany. Personal information is very broad in the EU um, and it can absolutely contain people's names, titles, email addresses, personal information that makes it identifiable to them that you have to protect. So it, you can absolutely run afoul in an investigation or discovery of not treating it with respect it deserves, you need to think about how am I going to process the data, what's my excuse, can I use a legal claim in Germany to look at it, um, do I have the consent of the employee, that's troubling because the power differential between the employee and the employer. Um, we often see that the, the exception that's most often used in this regard is a legitimate interest of the data controller, but that is not a carte blanche exception. You have to balance that with the rights of the data subject. There are very specific principles that are laid out in all the member state data protection uh, laws. And the problem that, m that make many in-house counsel feel uncomfortable and data privacy offers both across the Atlantic and here in the United States is, am I balancing those correctly? Will ex post, when I get reviewed by the agency, will they agree that I, I who have a, you know, obviously an interest in doing the investigation, correctly balance the rights of the data subject. And then, you know, can I be transparent with the data subject? Maybe not. If the investigation, if they're a rogue actor, I might be afraid they're going to delete data. And there are exceptions, and it gets very convoluted, but that's generally how we see this, this, this process happen. But I, I think going back to Jim's point, have a plan, don't panic, and prioritize so you're not moving more data than you have to.